Hello everybody, this is Code2J. To Today I'm going to show you how to remove the Airflow example DAX both locally and in Docker. Sounds exciting? Let's get started. When we first get Airflow running, we will see those example DAX, which are great for us to get started. However, there will be a time when we want to remove those to get more space for our own created DAX. How can we do that? Here, we are running Airflow locally. Open the Airflow configuration file, then search for the load examples parameter. We see it is set to true by default. Let's change it to false and save. To apply our new changes, we need to go to the terminal, shut down the running Airflow with key Control and C. Then restart Airflow by the command Airflow stand alone. Then we switch to the browser and click refresh. Boom! All the example decks disappear. If you are out of luck, have the load examples set to false and restarted the Airflow, the example decks still appear like the demo I'm showing. How to fix it? We first need to shut down the running Airflow in the terminal. Then we check the Airflow home environment variable by command echo dollar sign Airflow home. We see the empty output, which is giving us a hint that we forget to set it correctly. We can double check the load examples configuration parameter by command Airflow config get value followed by the arguments section and option. After checking the configuration file, we know that the load examples option is under section core. So we add core and load examples to the command. It outputs load examples as true. Why? If we forgot to set the Airflow home environment variable to our project directory, it is set to Airflow in our home directory by default and create all the necessary files there. We can verify it by checking our home directory. It indeed has a folder named Airflow. Open the Airflow configuration file inside and search for the load examples. We see it is still the default value true. Let's go to the terminal to set the Airflow home to our project directory and verify by the echo command. Then we run the Airflow CLI command again to check the load examples option. Now it shows false correctly since Airflow is loading the configuration file in our project folder according to the Airflow home environment variable. Let's start the Airflow with the command Airflow standalone. Copy the password, then we go to the browser to log in. Boom! Problem fixed! If you are running Airflow in Docker like here with a simple local executor, and we have three services, Airflow Web Server, Scheduler, and Postgres database. By default, the example DAX are set to true. Again, we can see all the example DAX in our Airflow web server UI. To remove them, we just need to go back to VS Code. Here, we cannot change the configuration file directory. Instead, change it using the environmental variable in the Docker Compose YAML file. In the environment section, just add the Airflow core load examples and set its value to false. In this example, we don't need to edit since it already exists. We can simply change the value from true to false. To apply the changes, 
we need to save the files and go to the terminal to take down the current running Airflow containers with the command docker compose down and then restart it using the command docker compose up dash d. We can check the container status by the command docker ps. Once we saw all the containers are healthy, we are good to go to the browser to refresh the page. We log in again and boom, the example decks are removed. That's it. You have learned how to remove the Airflow example decks locally and in Docker. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button. Let me know what topic you want me to cover in the comment section. I will talk to you in the next one. Bye bye.